So, g'day, and welcome back to another coin video. Today, we're going to talk about the Rapper Munzbund. So, we'll get that. But just a shout out. This is actually quite nice stuff. If you don't drink alcohol, I don't know if they have a, a pretty much non alcoholic. And this is. I don't even know where it's made in. Maybe Korea? Anyway, uh, no, nah, you yeah, Korea. So, you put this with a uh, soft drink, or you could listen to some music. Ooh, let's listen to music, more music. Yes, I'm old school, I still have CDs. Do I buy CDs? No, uh, or we can actually look at coins. Where's the camera? Camera is. There it is. So, uh, what is this Rappen Bundsmund? It's very interesting. So, it's the last major area of currency unification in the 1300s. So, uh, Wikipedia does have a good article. So, here we have the Wikipedia. This is in German, but if you see, they don't have an... English, they just have an Italian and a Russian. So, e, this is a translation. Thank you, Google. And it was started in 1377 uh, and Zurich and Basel. So, two major cities in Switzerland, uh, actually. So, Basel is represented by the Bishop of Basel. Obviously, a lot of these places before the Swiss got rid of them. We were run by outsiders, so the bishop from the Catholic Church or the Austrian Duke for Basel, so in about 1400, 1400s, something like that, uh, they will become independent and uh, they were pretty much like republic type systems. Okay, the purpose was standardized so called coin. Hey, okay, so in the middle of the 14th century, they had about 80 participants. Okay, so this was just a, a pretty loose agreement to issue coins of a certain way. Okay, so they issued a Ruppen, which is like a two Fennig. Okay, and include Upper Rhine, Northwestern Switzerland, and Upper Austria. So most of the places were Austria. We'll have a look at some coins from uh, France and Germany. Okay, they, in addition to the Fennig, the Gross. So, uh, I think there's like a ten penny. Never types of coins were issued. Okay, blah blah blah. And this one says the actual coins were started in 1387. It included 70 members. So obviously, up here it says 80. Here it says 70. So the number of members varied over time. Those on the periphery probably would have fallen away a lot. Uh, sooner. So we have some cities listed. So Schaffhaus in Switzerland, Colma in France, Zurich, Basel and Bern, and Nuremberg in Switzerland. And we do have some others. Okay, so the Fennec was a silver fine coin of 0.15 grams. So you get a bit under 10 coins. No, to seven coins, should I say, or one gram. So you needed 15 grams to make 100 coins. Okay, obviously they didn't use grams then, because that came back in about 1700s. In order to preserve the coin value, members of an area... Okay, in order to preserve the coin value, members and area size were quickly reduced to a smaller centimeters. Coin union, yeah. Okay, they declared federal coin, rough and Fennec, was now minted to 10 to 4 uh, per mark, probably. 
in the amount of 1,242 Phoenix. Okay, so this is this is a bit confusing. The fineness of 0.23 grams of fine silver. Um, and it was called two of the coins at two finny. So the wrapping was supposed to be point two three grams and it's weighed at two finnies. So that's a bit less than uh, the one finny at one point five because if you have two of them, it's point three. Okay, so it was imitated by a lot of different places, and it circulated. For about 180 years after, so here we go, after 1564, the Rappel Moons subject in pure mint regulations of 1559 and finally dissolved after almost 200 years. Yeah, about 180, it lasted and it was just replaced uh, by in Switzerland by the Kreutzer or the Bratz. Circulated up into pretty much the 1800s, and a lot of the places still use the Kreutzer after the Napoleonic Wars. Okay, so obviously, this is one of the first okay, monetary union, one of the first uh, in Central Europe. So, we'll talk about the Elf region uh, to federate their coins, and here we have. Some more information, pretty much it just says the same thing, except it is, uh, it's got Weizach, so I think that's in Germany now. And it has information on the coins, economic area, has an image of coins, and uh, there is the large image. So these are all mostly Bracteat, means that they were, had just one image on both sides. So... The image on one side is just a reflection of the image on the other. And you can see that there's some more information about the actual coin if you look it up. Okay, so that's in German as well. Translate. Okay. And yeah, it, it just gives pretty much uh, the same information. So... Okay, so in 18, 1584 it was dissolved. And, yeah. So, do we have any informa uh, images of coins? Okay. Here we have. This seems to be quite important. Okay, so this looks like a forum. Yeah, forum. And it's not in English. Okay, it's a currency equivalent. Okay, the Ruppen, Ruppen Fennig is a currency equivalent to one Fennig. One Ruppen, one Fennig, you know. Like one Ruppen equals one centimeter currently in Switzerland. And it's got a list of cities. Songal, Breisgau, Northern Switzerland. Okay. And one Bratz equals three Ruppen. One Platart equals six Ruppen. Okay. In here it gives different dates. It's 1399 to 18, well, 1584. The union was created to facilitate trade between these cities, regular currency. Uh, yeah, so that's basically all it was, just to facilitate trade, so people didn't have to pick up, you know, pick up lots of different coins and go and put them all on the scale and trying to work out their equivalent local currency. Go away. Okay, and it gives a comprehensive list here. So... Got a lot of Tarn, Colma, so they've got Upper Rhine, they've got Basel, so there's all areas in Switzerland as well, so it's pretty comprehensive. Then we have some coins, 
So as you can see, the Bracti app. And these ones you can see, they had a dotted border, and in the middle they had their coat of arms of the place of issue, which was allowed. So it's basically it was purity was uh, guaranteed, the weight was guaranteed, and each individual mint was allowed to issue the coat of arms of the place of issue. And here we have, um, yeah, so common pointed a single side of common dental character, the wide rings, for yeah, a pearl balls and identical weights. And here we have, okay, monetary alliance concordance. The Alliance, the Rapper Moon. So this is information. I can't actually read it. Looks like it's in black lettering. Uh, which uh, was used. A lot of people. Larson, Spain. Uh, Basel, Weiburg, Beisach, Kulma, Tan. So obviously it shows the coat of arms of each of the places. And yeah, actual coin. So this would have been a higher denomination coin. Anyway, so here we have Tullus. So these are issued later on. So this is not part of this currency union. It's a different currency union uh, under the Holy Roman Empire. Obviously, these are the coins You've got the front and back. Ah, very interesting. So if we look at some of the coins, so we're looking up to 1580. Uh, for and as you can see, Bractiat. So this is uh, from Weizach. And as you can see, we have one Ruppin, which is two Phoenix. So this is about uh, 0.29. And what did we say the actual coins were worth? 0.23. So at this time, they're not going to be exact. Then we have Platt. So this is a uh, six Ruppin. So four, two, uh, three of these. It's one point eight six. Uh, yeah, so point three six nine. Nah, it's a bit higher. It's probably about seven or eight. Mm. And as you can see, this one's minted more on the normal style that you'll get. And then you now siege coinage. Mm. Then we have a little diner. So that one is worth. Oh, good diamond. It's under the color system. So obviously they've got these two currency systems mixed up, which they should be separated. So what we're really looking at is uh, probably the first three coins. Obviously it's a coat of arms. Okay, then we have Colma. So, and if you look at the references, so obviously it's probably about 200 coins from Colma missing. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of coins in this catalogue that are missing. So even though, how much does the Swiss cantons have? They have, uh, ooh, okay, so there is 46 pages, so it's about 2,282 coins of the Swiss cantons. I would say that it's probably only about 20 to 40 percent of the coins so this can go easily up to 10,000 because a lot of these coins are hard, uh, scarce low mint coins okay anyway we're looking at Colma so this is in I think it's in France now uh, so here we have Bracteats standardized version Denier or Ruppen it's so obviously this is probably a uh, uh, a Ruppin coin or actually one penny was the actual weight so at the time all these coins are based on weight okay here we have another Ruppin denier another Ruppin denier obviously they reduce the weight a little bit still the coat of arms and the design is pretty similar uh, 
then we have but so this is a different currency that replaced the rupin okay next coin we have swiss cantons don't worry about that okay then we have um laufenburg so obviously all these are single-sided so if you want to know how brackets are made i could actually make another video on that obviously you need a soft surface so to imprint the actual image on the coin okay and this one had a i don't even know what animal that is so 0.36 so it's a, a rough and fold over but they put one penny but this is 100 years before the actual uh okay have a line looks a weird line so Obviously, that's 100 years before the actual monetary union. And we need to go down. So, they don't really have that many coins from the actual monetary union itself. Okay, obviously, the Fenny pretty much was reduced to half the size. But their coins uh, didn't have the dotted border, but they did have. Um, the lines so the standard image then we've got spites they've only got one coin so the angster which is equivalent to a fennec then we go to the brats which are issued at the same time apparently so they had two different currency systems which is not unusual for switzerland because uh because it's made of small cantons and each of them issued their own currency up until 1850 a lot of them still issued different currencies some used the brats some used the gouda some used uh, the uh french currency so the franc like geneva which is very interesting and some use italian currency like tisiano and that's what it's called okay here we had Turgal, a disenhofen obviously just one coin from before so that's not really included Okay, ACR search. As you can see, that's a classical numerous group. Yeah. And then we got some other coins. Okay, they said it, this, is, this is the currency replaced it. But this is supposed to be Lucerne. And obviously, I can't find anything. Uh, yeah, that's included in Lucerne. Then we have, here you go, Lucerne. So this is uh, probably issued under the bishops. So we have a Haller. So it's pretty much the bishop's head. Then we have New Sato. And as you can see, this reference is 400. So obviously, this is missing at least 400 coins just in this section here. But I need to look up who that reference is and that is who are me the face for with a bouquet of 13 feathers i have no idea who this is it's probably not even a name okay face mask ah. so it's a knight's armor okay and then the last one we have is buzzle so obviously we have quite a few coins with the coat of arms of buzzle here we have it with the dotted border so 0.14 so steva is equivalent to fennig and then looks like they increase the weight or maybe someone is getting confused between the stebla and the rapin but it's double the weight, obviously they're not the same denominations. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, they're getting confused with the actual denominations. So that's basically the <coughs> sorry about that. Um, the Rappenwoods Monetary Union. Pretty simple. All it was, just an agreement to issue coins at a certain weight and certain metal purity 
uh, that can be accepted in, in the wide area of uh, cities. So you didn't have to count foreign coins, really. You didn't have to exchange. So put your coins in and get the local coins back, like a lot of places would have had to do. And also uh, counterfeits would have been still a problem, though. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope. So, I hope this helps you with uh, learning about coins and the different aspects of coins throughout history. So, obviously, in the last three videos, we look at the earliest currency union in the Holy Roman Empire. Obviously, it wasn't the earliest, it would probably be Roman, but even then, we had earlier coins, so the Aegean uh, drachm, the Athenian drachm, which were not actually monetary unions. They were just used as a trade coin over an area for people to have one one coin. So that basically had just the one coin, like the pound used to be, in which a lot of places just accepted it at face value. Because right, it saves a problem changing the currency over. So, take care out there. And I'm going to read about something else. Thank you and goodbye.